What's up guys? Welcome to Danny Lush Real Estate TV. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a model by Party Homes right here in a brand new community of Sandalwood and Summerlin. Let's go. All right guys, here we go. As you can see, two story, two bay garage. And this is going to be an interesting one, I promise. So, this is the exterior. Um, it comes in a few different exteriors. So this is plan 3B, exterior R. 3,817 square feet. And it's a beauty. Four bedroom, four and a half baths. There's a bonus room, study room. Right, um, obviously three car garage, two bays. This is your front entrance. This is your side entrance. All right, it goes directly to the pool. All right, again, your exterior elevation. Covered outlets. Nice. Ring doorbell. Here we go, guys. Party homes. First of all, real quick, a couple of house cleaning things. Thank you all so much for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. You guys are awesome. Thank you for interacting with me and my channel. I do this for you guys, so I'm gonna have a lot more coming soon. Uh, pardon the look out here. Uh, we are literally the first ones to have a sneak peek at Sandalwood. So, it's almost finished. Everyone's gonna be able to see it in a couple of days. We just kinda snuck a peek. Two story, right? Big staircase here. Here the texture is the same as the elevation outside. Beautiful. Very roomy, very spacious. Well, let's start with Everything that's hidden over here this way. All right, so here is the entrance from your garage. All right, garages are locked, that's okay. All right, your little come inside, a little place for shoes, etc. Super cool. All right, so if you come in from the garage, here you are. Nice. Nice. Here is your quick half bath. Very well done. Here you got some wallpaper. Makes it nice and homey. Okay. Electronics. and a linen closet. Beautiful. Here is bedroom number one. Very nice, very simple. This is like a soft material on the wall. That's cool. Cool. And you can see the walls themselves are textured a little bit. This is one of the things Party does. See all that? Nice. I love it when they take the tile all the way to the ceiling. This makes this whole thing pop really nice. This is nice. Such a well done bathroom. I like that you have the tile throughout. Perfect. Perfect. And the closet here. With shelves. Bedroom number one is a success. 
for sure. This is more closet space. Okay, excellent. So it's a cluster of doors here, but it is really quiet for that one bedroom to be by itself. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now before we head to the great room, there's also this room on the right here, um, office slash gym. All right, right now it's a gym. Beautiful. And you have the wood um, and it's right here as well. And then on top right there, look at that. Okay, everything matches really nice. That's really cool. I would love to have a ceiling texture. And then this door is a slide. Yes, it's a little heavy. A little, a little oil and it'll work just fine. Oh yeah, oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. Speaking of sliding doors, this bad boy is locked over here probably, right? Yeah. We'll come around a different way, but this is your little backyard slash courtyard. All right, let's attack this great room. Notice the ceilings. Very nice. I like the amount of windows. Definitely a lot of light in here. That's beautiful. And it makes it feel like there's a lot of space, right? So obviously these ceilings are pretty tall, but that opening over here lets this whole thing breathe even more. This is fantastic. This fireplace here also, again, ooh, this is rough. And then in there you have gas, crystals in there, it's perfect. Look how modern this looks, right? Beautiful. Beautiful, everything is tiled. This is usually what your tile will look like with the, those spaces are, they don't get any smaller usually because that's just the way builders like to make it. Um, this way, the, the larger the gap between the tiles, it helps it look more even because it's really impossible to just put tiles super, super even one next to each other. So that look at that little space, the more even it kind of looks and feels when you step on it. Kitchen, island, man, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? This is really cool, like half dining. Unfortunately, well, okay, there's a sink. I'm not gonna say unfortunately. Some people like it, some people don't. Having a sink right next to where you're eating or snacking, I don't know, not my style personally, but could be cool. This is really nice. Undermounted sink. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is just so sleek. Here we have your dishwasher. It definitely works, I see water. Oh, beautiful. All right, so you have the double dishwasher here. Um, I do always recommend going double. It uh, doesn't increase your cost that much and it's worth it. Plus, it's a plumbing thing, you should get that done relatively right away. Nice cabinet work. All right, so these are flat top cabinets. Boom, so nice. Definitely fits this whole idea. This backdrop I'm really all about. 
That's really cool. I'm guessing if you even like if you light it up correctly too, if you put some uh, maybe strip lights under your cabinets. I know there's a little bit light over there, but I feel like you can really get it going if you want to, if you're into that, you don't need that. Five burner stove, pot filler. So this bad boy fills a pot, right? If you have a really, like a really big pot, you can't do it in the sink. Set it up here, water, pasta, boom. You got a happy Danny if you got that pasta. Right, Bosch appliances. I like the fact that these cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling. Again, sometimes it could be a little more, right? It's a little extra for those cabinets up on top. And matches here too, but you know, it's either cabinets or tile, right? To make it look good. So it's really up to you guys. Beautiful fridge. Fits so perfectly with this whole thing. Here you can cook with Ziggy Marley. Ziggy! And an aloe vera plant. Awesome. Let's take a look. What do we have here? Interesting. Okay. So, washer dryer sink. Awesome, under mounted sink, huge space over here down under it. Um, nice, so over there I see a closet. We're gonna check that out later. Is this wallpaper? Yes, this is just wallpaper. It's like there's no way they did tile like that. <laughs> oh man, this is, uh, well, this would be your garage, right? Roomy. Right now, it's not a garage, but if this was your house, this would be your garage. Um, right, so you come in through the garage and you have a pantry here, look at that. So, cool light. So, this is your walk-in pantry. With a second fridge. Second fridge, you know, Depends on how much food you need, how much food you eat. If you do meal prepping and you need, uh, you know, some extra room for some chicken, some beef, a second fridge goes a long way. Wow. Dining room. Again, so much light. All right, especially at like maybe at, at sunset when you're sitting down for dinner. Woo! -hoo! This place looks remarkable. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I wonder if we can make a little escape outside. Do they let us? Yes, they do. Here we go. So, a little barrier between this hangout area and the pool, right? So if you wanna hang out, you don't want anybody, you want your kids splashing water on your hair that you just did, right? That's what you do. So this thing, unfortunately, is closed. That's okay. We'll work around it. We're gonna come back through the other way and really take a look at this backyard. Now backyards, guys, are Kind of up to you, right? So the builder's not gonna really do much at all. Pools are up to you in your hands, jacuzzis, fireplaces, and all that. Uh, lots here in Sandalwood, anywhere between, I wanna say 25,000 to probably about 200, 250, 300. I'll double check. Um, so obviously on the, on the smaller end, 
your lot doesn't really have any kind of special view. All right here, you'll see, it's a little hard to see, but you, that, that's strip view. That's the strip over there. You have mountain views here. So a lot like this would definitely not be 25. It would be closer to 200. But there are some really, really good lots for less. Okay, let's lock this up. We're gonna come back to take a look at that a little closer. Right now, what I wanna do is see what's in here. And yes, as I expected, we have a master bedroom. Very nice, very, very nice. Big windows. Beautiful. So I love the tray ceilings with the light. Really cool. You have your speakers, vents, wonderful. And then here again, just textured walls. Makes it stand out really nice. Really cool. Really cool. And the lights up there, I'm guessing that's just a, you know, a strip that goes all around. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is a nice size bathroom. You know why there's no tub, that's why. That's why it feels roomy. Guys, what do you think, tub or no tub in your modern day master bedrooms? What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Do we want to see tubs anymore? Do we, does anybody even take baths? I'm guessing somebody does because I see some gorgeous tubs in some of these models. Man. This is nice. I absolutely love that. All right, so you got the waterfall. You got the, oh, great tile work. All right, so you mix two different tile styles together. Beautiful. And you got a bench, drying area. So, his and her vanity, sinks. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I really like this floor plan. It's very original. You see how this is lit up with the shoes, right? We got lights here and there. This is, you know, it's not something you just plug into the wall like a refrigerator. Again, think about lights when you guys are mentally coming up with what your home's gonna look like when you're customizing it. All right, so there's lights in here. You're gonna talk to closet people is what I want to call them before everything starts getting structurally put together. This way you can kind of pick up your closets and you can say, hey, you know, I like the lighting in here, like this and like that. This is really cool. This is my style. This way, when uh, the construction of your house is actually going on, they can say, okay, we need extra lighting here, extra lighting here you know, power cables, etc. So the closet, right? We saw this earlier. It comes back out to the laundry room with the funky tile looking wallpaper. Really cool. All right, so this just comes all the way around back to the kitchen. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I like this. I like the fact that, right, laundry, Boom, wash it, dry it, hang it right away. You don't even gotta wait. Beautiful, beautiful. 
so much light in here. I like that so much. The Beatles Anthology. Rock and roll, guys. Party Holmes knows how to party. I like this, right? So big baseboards and you have this dual color coming together. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right? Just like this, this centerpiece is such an accent. You have the dark in the back, the dark on the bottom, and then boom, the light. Ooh! So powerful. Okay. Okay, I know. It's time to go upstairs. This is quite a lengthy one, huh, guys? This is a big, a big house. I want to show you all the details. So... Nice. Up the stairs we go. Oh yeah. Chillage room, perfect. Balcony. Right, you have a bar, nice. Wine, chiller. Cabinets that match downstairs. Oh, this is nice. So over here, that's your subwoofer. Our big boy speakers. And then you have speakers on the ceiling. Beautiful, very nice, very nice. Can we uh, get out? Is this possible? Yeah, look at that. Boom. You know I love balconies. And yeah, I love this one too. Beautiful view. We are in Summerlin. Oh man, we are right uh, right by the entrance to Red Rock. So Charleston is the closest big streets. Charleston is the longest in Vegas. There are a few other builders in the neighborhood too. There's Toll Brothers. There's KB, I think, yeah. There's Lennar. That's the strip over there. I know it's a little hard to see today. But that's where it is in all its glory. more mountain views. Amazing, amazing. Very cozy. I like that balcony. Let's close the doors, lock them. Perfect. Perfect. Really cool chilling area. And here, Okay, bedroom. Real quick. Oh yeah. That's where all the goodies are. Nice bedroom with a balcony. What are you guys kidding me? This is awesome. More balconies. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. Perfect. Mountain View balcony. Uh, here in front of us, there's some lots that are empty. Those are gonna be homes. Is it gonna be yours? Maybe, you tell me. Um, if you guys want to see some of these models privately, let me know. We'll do a showing for you. Uh, my services are free. You guys don't have to pay me any commission or anything like that. The builder pays for my services. This door goes into another room. We're gonna check that room out a little bit. Boom. Boom. And it does help having a real estate agent when you're looking at new built homes because 
you need somebody looking out for your interests. Somebody asking the right questions, right? How much is the lot? When is this fixed? Can this be done? Can we do it this way, etc. Also, a lot of uh, contracts are very builder friendly. And this is, you know, has nothing to do with party in particular. Um, but some of these contracts are, you know, not set up to really benefit you that much. So you need somebody that knows what they're doing with contracts to help you out. I really like this bathroom though. You have tile and wallpaper going together really well. And then you also have tile down here. So this is right a wood tile here. If you guys have for like pets, dogs that are you know on the heavier side be careful choosing your flooring especially wood some wood can get scratched some won't so always better to ask first awesome i absolutely love that different tile in here and this is just kind of to showcase the different styles that you guys what well, that party offers that you guys can get to choose from oh look at this room look at this guitars this is awesome reading lights Oh, look at that. AC, DC, back in black, a perfect. So is this my room when I was 10? Probably, it's not as nice. No, my room wasn't as nice, I'm sorry, I misspoke. This is a lot nicer. But I love my room, thanks mom, I love you. <laughs> awesome view from here. This is cool. This is cool. So this was the other room that I mentioned that you have, right? The door that goes outside to, okay, it's closed right now, but to this balcony. So, really cool. Can you fit a master bed here? Yes, you can. Right, I know it's a, uh, it's not like a perfect square, this room. Right, just because this comes out further on the right. But yeah, you can fit a big bed here. Beautiful. And that's the second floor, guys. All right, this closet right here. Cool. All right. This is the second floor. And that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm gonna do a quick run out to show you the outside, uh, the backyard. Cause I know we've been together for a while here now. Let's see. Real quick, real quick. Look at that. Now it's a party. Now, this is where a man can feel like a man. Look at Bertie! Sorry, baby. Okay, nice size lot. Yeah, this is a nice size. Beautiful. Also behind, let's take a look over here. This is all of your pool pumps, cleaning, ACs, all that is back here. Perfect, very organized in the back of the house. Wonderful. Right. 
This was probably not made for girls in high heels. Uh, but if you're at home, why are you wearing high heels, right? You're chilling. Beautiful and sandy style pool. This is great. You hear it raining here. Gorgeous place to barbecue. Oh yeah, this isn't even hooked up yet. Oop. Boom. This is great. This is great. Go Knights! Alright. We are gonna be out of here just so that we're not in the way of people working. Thank you guys for watching. I absolutely love you guys. We are in the what looking at party homes. Subscribe, like, share this with your friends if you guys like it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time. You guys are awesome. This is Plan 3BR. I'll see you later.